Um, on June 11th, I had planned to take my children swimming for the first time this summer. My son, Tal, who is six, had just finished school and was excited to go to the pool and celebrate the beginning of his summer break. But that morning, we were listening to the news and we were warned about the code orange air quality for the day. As a mom, I was trying to figure out how to explain to my son that we couldn't go outside at all that day because the air was unsafe to breathe for he and his one-year-old sister. I had to explain that right now, there's pollution in the air that gets made into smog on really hot days, and that smog is dangerous for children to breathe. I promised him that I would fight to pass laws to help get the air cleaner, but he asked if he could come in today and help. So I present Tall to everyone who would like to say a couple couple words. Go ahead, Tall. It's no fair that kids around Baltimore cannot go outside in cold oranges. And I would like you to change the laws um, so kids can go outside. Please. Thank you, Tom. As a mom, there are many things I can do to protect my children's health. I can buy sunscreen that's not toxic. I can buy organic food when it's affordable. I can buy cleaning products that are not made from harsh chemicals. But when it comes to the air, aside from forcing my kids to stay inside on code orange and red air quality days, there's nothing I can do as an individual, which is why I wanted to come in today. As a mom, I call on the Maryland Department of the Environment to come up with a viable solution to improve Maryland's air quality. Requiring our state's coal plants to run their existing controls more often is not a viable solution by itself because their existing controls are out of date and they still allow unacceptable levels of pollution into the air we breathe. We must hold the coal plants accountable and make it the law that they install modern pollution controls on every unit instead of creating loopholes that allow some coal units to keep polluting. Um, I recently learned that our state has some of the worst air quality in the country, and that is just unacceptable for our children and for all citizens living in the state. Thank you.